Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video on this channel. Um, I have been a little bit under the weather, so that's been uh, slowing me down a little bit. But today, um, I decided, um, you know, to beat my face and I was like what a perfect way then to just record um, the eye look that I wanted to go for today it's really rainy outside um, so I was like there's nothing better to do than for me to play with my makeup so what I wanted to do today is um, so I already did my face as you guys can see I already um, oh, I have a hair here I already did my eyebrows and I already did my foundation, my contour. The only thing that I'm missing and I concealed, the only thing um, that I'm missing is the highlight and my eyes. And I wanted to um, do that in camera so that you guys can kind of see um, what I, how I like to apply my eyeshadows and stuff like that. Since I have my previous video is a foundation routine so nothing has really changed from then. Um, I am trying new products here and there so I definitely want to try all of those products out for at least a month before I give you guys like any opinion on them and stuff like that as to how they work on me and if it's worth for you guys to buy it or not. So I also have a mess in the back um, in my vanity so excuse that. But let's get right into this tutorial. Um, the palettes that we're going to be using today, it's the um, Kylie. I think this is one of her first palettes that she has. Um, the Kylie palette, yeah. This is, uh, what is this? The I don't know. It's one of her first palettes that she came out with. Excuse it, it cracked when I took it to, I think it's like Cancun. I took it with me and that happened in my suitcase. And then the colors that we're going to work with from this palette is going to be this nice purple one right here. That one right there. And then we're going to be using good old Morphe. So we're going to be using the 35N palette. Morphe is like my go-to for eyeshadows. I feel like since I'm more on the um, darker side skin tone, I feel like their colors are very pigmented and they blend very well with my skin tone and everything. So they're like my go-to. Um, so I have a bunch of their palettes too. So Morphe, if you're watching and you want to sponsor me, put me in your PR list. That would be great. And the colors that I think we're going to use on this one, um, from this one, is we're going to use a little bit of that orangey. And we're going to use this one right here. And we're going to be using this purple right here. So, as of right now. And I think a little bit of this one right here too. So, let's just see what it all turns out to. As you guys know, my eyelids are super, super dark. So, I tend to um, put a concealer first. We're going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm in the shade uh, Medium. So, I like to apply this before I apply any eyeshadow. Because I have dark eyelids. So and just apply it like so because we're going to blend it out and i'm almost out i need to go get some more because we're going to blend it all out with a brush that looks like so okay and we're just gonna blend all of that out all right and after we've done that I have a little bit of my, um, sorry it's a little dirty, but I have a little powder here from my Laura Mercier and we just want to set our eyes like so. Then we're going to go in with, let's see, we're going to go in with a blending brush like so and we're going to start off with the Morphe palette that I told you guys about and we're going to start off with, uh, we're going to start off with this color right here. Uh, let's see if I can point at that one right there. I know it looks kind of pinkish um, in the camera, but it's not It's not pink. It's more like a brown, mauve color. So we want to use that as our... Um, as our... Uh, what do you call it? As our... Sorry guys, that's our transition um, color, okay? So you want to work right there from the outer corner to the end side of your corner. Windshield wiper motion. Should look something like so. So. 
so And after we've applied that, we want to go in with another blending brush, a fuller one. And this one is by BH Cosmetics. And what you want to do, sorry guys, my dogs are outside getting wet. They love the rain. Just want to blend all of those harsh lines out so that it looks like it all blends together. Alright, and that looks good enough. Now we are going to go in with... Let's see. We are going to go in with this brown right here. It's like a little more on the brownish side. This one right here. And I'm going to work that in on top of the other colors that we already have. To look something like so. And lastly, we want to go back in with, um, we're going to go in, let's see what color does it go better with this one. I think we're going to go in with, okay, we're going to go in with the one that I had told you guys, and it's this purple right here. Grab a little bit of that, not too much. And we're gonna apply it on the. Okay, you wanna make sure that they're both even. Okay, and then what we're gonna do once again, blend everything out. Blending is key, guys. With this type of brush make sure you're blending everything out okay you see how nice that looks okay we're moving on to the other eye and stuff so all right, guys, so it should look something like this. Okay. Looks good. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go in with a brush like so. Like a synthetic brush. We're going to use our Kylie palette, and we're going to use this color right here. Let's hope it sticks without having to... Oh, what the heck are all these little things? Sorry, guys. There's like a bunch of little... Alright. You want to do this as gently as possible, because... If you're like me and you already did your face, you don't want no fallout. Alright. We're gonna have to get a brush to just swipe all of the X's out. Okay. Going on to the other eye. Same thing, just gently dabbing the product in okay and then you want to make sure that both eyes look even it's kind of hard with this ring light I'm kind of blinded but yeah they look even to me so now what we want to do is just blend one more time everything out we want to make sure that if we have any fallout we brush that out and now we want to make sure that we just blend everything in. So one more time. Alright. Now moving on to lashes. So 
gonna use some lashes they're kind of dirty because i always like take them off i use them one time and i literally just leave them there so i just gotta take all these little hairs out that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and use these so what we're gonna do now is curl our natural lashes because your girl's lashes suck Okay. And by now our glue should be dry. Gonna move these around, make sure you can work with them. And you wanna apply them. Okay, and after we've done that, we're gonna go again and brush any excess off that we might have. And then what we wanna do for the um, bottom lash line is go in with um, the purple that we used, a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the brown mixed together that we used for um our crease and we want to bring it all the way down okay perfect now we're gonna go in with a nude color um, eyeliner for your bottom lash line and you want to apply that on the bottom of your right here to make your eye look more open more awake so that's what we're gonna apply okay I'm gonna put my little mirror there we go cool now we're gonna we're pretty much done with the eyes now i'm just gonna add some highlights some mascara the lip and we are done guys so now we're gonna go in with our highlights we're gonna go in with my go-to and that is mac soft and gentle that is like my go-to sorry guys like i said i wasn't ready i wasn't planning on recording today but i decided to record for you guys and i'm so happy because i love how this came out so i'm gonna apply it right there i like to run it up a little bit to here like so And now we're gonna add some in our inner tear duct with a little brush like so. And we're just gonna apply it as close as we can. Do you guys see that? Looks so good. And now that we've done that, we're gonna go in with our telescopic mascara or sometimes I like to go in with but you know what I'm gonna use this one today sometimes I like to go in with um, brown mascara just because I, since I really don't have eyelashes on the bottom I feel like it just gives it a more um, natural look like fuller instead of the black it's not as harsh uh, but today Okay, hope you guys can see that. Okay. okay, I don't like to apply too much. Ah, hold on, guys. My mascara doesn't want to go in. It's like I broke it, and it's like I need a new one. Ugh, you guys see this? What the heck? Struggle. So now, before we apply our lip, we want to go in with a little bit of Carmex. 
because my lips are always so dry. Okay, and now we're going to go in with our lipstick of choice. I opted for this. Um, it's from Tarte. Yeah, it's from Tarte, the Tartiste Glossy Lip Paint, and it's in the color uh, Sand. Oh, I'm sorry. Snap. It looks like this. So let's see if it puts the look together. All right, guys, and to finish off this look, excuse my hair, guys. This is like two-day-old hair from um, taking down my braids, but I've been loving it. I think it looks so cute. So we're going to go back in with the same highlighter that we put in our cheeks. And we're going to put some right here on the tip of our nose. Just to give us a pow. Some up here. And lately I've liked to apply some right here. And... That's it. And that completes the look, you guys. Ugh. And, oh wait, let's not forget about our Fix Plus. Mm, I love how this thing smells. I'm gonna make sure all of that dries in. All right, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys are able to see up close and personal how this look. Like I said, excuse my hair. So. And then highlight popping mm -hmm. alright you guys so this completes the look I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and um, if there's any comments feedback or anything it's well appreciated you can leave that uh, down below on the comment section below and if there's any type of look that you would like me to recreate um, also leave that down below in the comment section and I'll do my very best to um, try to recreate it and show you guys how um, but yeah I think that's it guys make sure like I said to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel um, it would mean the world to me um, and yeah um, spread the word <laughs> if you like uh, my tips and um, things like that so yeah guys I need to do something about this hair look at this but okay last look because I'm loving this <laughs>